Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of eSplash. Hope you're doing well and in particular for those who have been in lockdown areas and are starting to re-emerge, particularly Victoria and New South Wales, but also acknowledging the restrictions easing in many other states and territories around borders and so on. Um, I also want to acknowledge Gary Toner for the fantastic work that he's done over the last 18 months around advocacy, representation of ASTA and the Learn to Swim industry and swimming, uh, competitive swimming to government and others, and also for the advice and information that he's been providing on a very, very regular basis. I don't know that Gary's had a, uh, too many weekends over the last 18 months. Also to the people that have supported him, in particular, President Joanne Love in Victoria, uh, Greg Hodge has been doing a, a power of work down there, uh, and, and others in Victoria and in New South Wales. And Narelle Simpson has been like a dog with a bone uh, with politicians and, and government officials, and also to Nancy Shaw and others again who have been doing, working so hard uh, in, in the New South Wales area. I wanted to touch on levelling the decks. Uh, we launched this back in May and it's been evolving ever since. And you can get to it from our asta.com website. If you scroll down on the homepage, levelling the decks is a link through. It has got so many wonderful resources, training opportunities, a lot of them free. Uh, there are blogs and, and all sorts of information around gender equality, around inclusion. And this isn't just about females. It's not just about improving females. It's about having a great conversation, having male champions, uh, making sure that, uh, that everything is in place for the success uh, of swimming, and in particular for females in swimming. Also very, very delighted to announce that we've got a wonderful partnership with Swimming World magazine. Uh, we now have a complimentary subscription to Swimming World for the next year for all ASTA members. And uh, there's a link in this eSplash to ASTA Connect uh, where you can go through and register for your free subscription. If it's successful, we'll be doing this on an ongoing basis, and uh, so please make most of, uh, of that wonderful magazine with great articles on swimmers across the world, in particular the USA and Australia. We seem to feature quite a lot, which is great. November, the 15th to the 21st is Swim Safer Week, and we are delighted to have partnered with PJ Masks. And uh, if you don't know, they are a kids' cartoon characters, are very, very popular in Australia and New Zealand and uh, they are going to be powering up Swim Safer Week this year. We've got some wonderful posters, stickers, certificates, uh, videos and, and social media posts to use during Swim Safer Week and this is a great opportunity for swim schools to be promoting what they do and in particular the water safety components. Also a great opportunity for swimming clubs to partner with swim schools and to put out their own messages around water safety and we've got lots of great promotional material coming up for you for that week. Last year we had reach of 23.4 million people and uh, that's a great audience to tap into particularly as swimming clubs and swim schools look to rebuild after COVID. Uh, also wanted to advise that Astacon has been rescheduled again. We looked at May, April, uh, April, May next year and just decided it was a bit too close after the highly successful virtual Astacon we've just run and also wanted to give every swim school and club and coach and teacher an opportunity to fully recover from the restrictions that have been in place. So uh, we are back on the Gold Coast September the 17th to the 20th and looking forward to releasing our program and registration in early 2022. A uh, couple of other things, we have also had in, uh, representation for the Swimming Australia Independent Panel. Uh, they asked us a bunch of questions and we provided a lot of context, a lot of information and a lot of the great things that we are and have been doing over the last four or five years, including levelling the decks, including uh, the way we are now managing complaints, uh, including uh, a whole lot of context around the accreditation of coaches and so on. Uh, so really keen to see what they come out with and uh, obviously we want to see swimming as the safest sport in Australia and uh, being, being very progressive in that area. And lastly, we're also very aware of the uh, labour situation in Victoria and the extended lockdowns, uh, I think six lockdowns that have been there now. We've been working with Jobs Victoria on a proposal which is very substantial and we'll look at educating and, and recruiting and partnering up students with employers over the next 18 months. So more details on that hopefully it gets across the line, um, more details on that within the next couple of weeks when we hopefully hear back. In the meantime, I hope you're all doing great. I uh, look forward to catching up with you soon. And um, yeah, 
uh, leading into Christmas. I uh, hope you have a wonderful ten, uh, nine or ten weeks to go.